there it is right up ahead the Atlantic Ocean for the first time in like 30 days oh that's amazing Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 70 on our round the world trip. So we are still here in Tafraut, but as you can see, we are not in our wild camp. We have actually taken a room at a hotel in town. We had to spend the last five days here in this room to sort out some crazy issues, but we will tell you more about it on the road. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, so we are all the way down here in Tafraut and we are going to be making our way first on a super awesome trail in the mountains heading over to Tisnit where we'll be joining up with this road to hit up to the coast and down 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 as far as we can go but this room does have something special air conditioning Woo! <laughs> and look at the amazing view so we're finally going to be hitting the Atlantic coast which is amazing because it is so hot here inland so I can't wait to get over there and feel the ocean breeze <laughs> I'm sweating already even though we are here in a, in a room with air condition <laughs> Before you continue watching, please guys make sure that you subscribe to our channel right now. And we just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who's bought one of our Overlander t-shirts. You guys have helped us out so much with our budget for the trip and we really appreciate the support. If you haven't yet ordered one of these awesome t-shirts that we designed ourselves, then you can support our trip by heading to our Etsy store in the link in the video description and get one today. So we woke up really early this morning because it gets hot very quickly. It's now 7 o'clock in the morning, better hit the road, let's go! Alright, all on. All on and ready to rock and rumble. Alright, day number 70. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna start with a little Yui. It's not fresh not fresh this morning it is 32 degrees already wow it's so stunning here yeah the area around Tafraut is just amazing with these rocky hills and boulders everywhere and then the giant big mountains in the background and you have all the palm trees as well in between it's magical here it is. It's magical, but it's incredibly hot. <laughs> yes. Incredibly hot. Yeah, I can't wait to get over to the coast and have that kind of sea breeze coming and just... I looked up the temperatures on the coast and it's literally like 10 degrees colder than where we are now inland. Yeah, I mean at the moment it's 32 degrees and it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous, crazy. that's ridiculous. Whoa, look at the size of these boulders though when you're coming out of town. Wow. Whoa. Super cool. Super cool area here. It feels really good to be back on the bike after five days break. Ah, I'm ready for the road again. And now we're going to be doing quite a long stretch to really make our way south, down the coast, down Western Sahara. So we needed to make sure we were fully ready and fully rested for this next leg, because uh, this is going to be a crazy one. So whilst we're on this beautiful winding road heading out to the coast, let me tell you guys why 
we stayed in Tafraut for five days. So three months ago or so, we had organized our roll-on, roll-off ferry from Dakar uh, to go to Rio with a company called Robert Worldwide Shipping. And that was all good. We had a really good price. It was like 1,200 euro for the shipping cost. But then last week, we just emailed Robert asked him you know oh is everything okay with our roll-on roll-off shipping is everything good for Dakar because we're making our way down the coast and he came back to us with an update and basically said it's a disaster at Dakar <laughs> roll-on roll-off no possibility everything is ruined um, so that didn't seem very good at all. He said, just give me a bit of time. I'm gonna see what I can sort out for you guys. Uh, and in the meantime, we had messaged a whole bunch of other companies looking for other alternatives, but other than going, basically turning around and going back to Europe, we didn't really have any other choice but to wait for Robert and see what he could come up with. So this brings us to Tafraut. So we were at the hotel, doing a bit of editing, ready to leave the next day, when we got an email from Robert saying, I've sorted it guys, no worries, I've got you another option. But do you know what that option was? A 20 foot container costing around 4,000 euro. So we asked him for other possibilities like shipping maybe from Portugal, shipping from uh, Agadir here in Morocco. But he said there's no shipping at all. Like the whole coast, apparently no shipping, no roll on roll offs. Yeah. So this took us to the decisions uh, that we actually said to Robert, okay, let's go ahead. Because otherwise we're driving down the coast and we have absolutely no way of leaving the coast of Africa. Yeah, so this was issue number one to sort out. So our second issue was that we were about to run out on our motorcycle insurance here in Morocco. Yeah, we had taken out a policy in Tangier, uh, which was like a one month policy costing 90 euro. We found out that that company that we did it with in Tangier only exists in Tangier. So there was no possibility of going into an office here in town or anywhere other than taking out a brand new policy with another company which would have been a whole nother month. So we asked our hotel manager and he was so kind to rung up our existing insurance for us and asking like what, what we can do, how we can extend our insurance. So he told us that there was the possibility to extend our insurance but we had to actually courier the new physical documents from Tangier all the way down to here in Tafraut, which was going to take another day and a half. So basically, all in all, we had to stay an extra whole bunch of days to sort out first the shipping and then the insurance and then we could leave, which is now. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so we have a new boat confirmed. We have our insurance for the rest of our time in Morocco. Everything is done. We have lost a lot of money along the way, <laughs> but we're here, we're on the road, and we're heading towards the coast. Yes. <laughs> Well, look how misty it is up ahead. It's like we can see the first ridge of, of hills in front of us, but then behind that is just like grey. It's so dusty, it's so crazy. Like we said before, we can't really choose an adventure routing anymore on our Garmin, but it seems like in Morocco here, every road is adventure routing. <laughs> 
Yeah, like every road is an adventure here. It's unbelievable. I mean, such epic windy roads. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, the bike has just recorded its first temperature under 30 degrees in like weeks. <laughs> it's so nice, we can really feel the cold breeze coming in. I think the cold breeze is coming from the ocean or, and it's so nice. Yeah, yeah, we're getting closer and closer to the coast now and the bike is recording 28 degrees, which sounds quite hot, <laughs> but honestly for us, this is really fresh and cool. This is nice. Yeah, it feels good to cool down a little bit. It gives you a lot of energy. Absolutely. I mean, it's just been grating with the heat every single day. It just takes it out of you when you're riding all day like that. So I'm super excited to get over to the coast and have some nice riding in the breeze. Oh, yes, me too. 27. <laughs> 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 I'm cold. It is almost too cold, hey? <laughs> eh? So we have left the mountains behind and we're now heading into Tisnit and it is a nice and refreshing 23 degrees here. It's amazing. And now I think we're only around 10, 15 miles from the coast. So we're just gonna stop and get some fuel and some bread. And then we're gonna be making our way over to the coast where we're gonna have a nice lunch stop with the ocean views. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see the ocean. It will be our, not our first time, but in a long time that we have seen the ocean here in Morocco. Literally, since after we left Tangier, we saw that brief bit of ocean before we headed inland and yes. we haven't seen the ocean since then. <laughs> yeah. So practically for the last month, we've been inland in Morocco and now it's time to hit the coast. It's amazing. <laughs> Nice, so we're just taking the route through the center of Tisnit and we just fueled up here, just topped up the bike and the price was nearly 180 dirham per litre. It's like one euro 80 per litre, which is probably not so much in Europe, but here we were filling up for about 160. So it's getting really expensive now. Yeah, really expensive. And we fueled up when we left Tafraut. So today we have filled up 35 euro or 350 dirham of fuel today. Yeah, is this is pretty much all our budget gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like the daily budget. Over. Yeah. Have a look here, Oli, if you can see some uh, bread on the side. Oh uh, yeah, we've got to pick up some bread. So let's see. Are you sure we don't want a huge hunk of sheep? Or, <laughs> or whatever that is. Goat. I mean, they have some aubergine here. Which is quite nice. Fish market. Where is the boulangerie and the patisserie? Some chips there. Oh, nice. Freshly made chips. Oh, there's one. So sort of. Oh, do you want to wait here? I will walk to it. Yeah, yeah. You can grab some stuff. That's fine. Bonjour. Welcome. Oh yes, I think I can see up ahead some blue. It's very, very hazy and dusty still, but up ahead that is definitely the ocean. For the first time in like 30 days. Oh, beautiful. Uh, it just feels like a new chapter of the journey, you know? <laughs> yeah, it feels nice. I feel like, you know, it's the end of our internal Moroccan exploration and the start of our coastal ride down to Dakar. This is the first part of it. This is it. We've hit the coast again. That's amazing. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, this place is called Aglu. And in Aglu, there is a plage, there is a beach. <laughs> and we are going to head there to stop and have a nice lunch on the beach. Whee! Whee! 
There we go. There's a nice place to stop for lunch. Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, yes. Feel the sea breeze. Amazing. Our oh, little kitchen here. Yes. Our kitchenette. You don't need more than that, hey? Uh, sometimes a little oven would be nice, yes. <laughs> 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 Laughing cow cheese and some baguettes. The amount of baguettes we've had on this trip, hey? Yeah, but I was quite clever because yesterday I boiled us some eggs. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> so that's quite cool. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. I do like to be beside the sea. I do like to be upon the from, from, from where the brass band plays. Oh, that was so nice to have a relaxing lunch by the seaside. Oh, that was very refreshing for the body and for the mind. It's just so nice to see a change of environment, the change of temperature, the start of something new. We're heading south, we're making progress. This is just very, very awesome and a very important day for the trip, I think. Yeah, especially after being five days in a room. <laughs> <laughs> It's just nice to continue moving, continue seeing new things. So we've got about 66 miles now down this nice little coast road. And then we pretty much reached the end of this small road. And that's where we're going to try and find a nice camp on the beach. Hello. <laughs> donkey party. <laughs> Hello, donkey. Oh, another oh. one. <laughs> it's like the little donkey street here. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, they're so cute. Oh, so cute. So we've just come off of the road and uh, we're heading on this little dirt track which is supposed to take us to form Asaka and we're not really sure what's there so let's go check it out. Tiny bit rough. <laughs> Good evening guys. <laughs> we made it happy and alive <laughs> to our spot here on the beach. <laughs> yeah, have a look at how close we are to the ocean. Look at that, literally right in front of the ocean. It wasn't super easy to find this spot here, but I'm really glad that we managed to end up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, it was a little later than expected in the end. Uh, we tried a couple of spots before we managed to find it. We had to check that place, Foam Asaka, which turned out to be
not the best spot to camp let's say <laughs> yeah and then luckily we came down this little road where we'd seen a sign for the beach and then we spoke to the military guys who said yeah just come down to this beach and camp here and uh, that's where we are <laughs> But you can see maybe we had to snuggle into our sleeping bags already <laughs> because it is cold. <laughs> yeah, I just checked on the bike and it says it's 21 degrees, <laughs> which is actually for us at the moment after the last few weeks, that's cold. That is cold for us at the moment, really. <laughs> yeah, but I'm super excited because I think we will have a very good night here and also I'm super excited for the ride tomorrow because we really will make our way down south, get a little bit progress done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the right direction. Yeah, 1,500 miles to Dakar. Woo! So we really have to get a move on and get south, 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 south. So we did about 160 miles, which is 260 kilometers today. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, comment below, please share with your friends and family. We will see you next time. <laughs>